District 30 Conference Scandal, Don Williams. A new day has so much potential, and so do each and every one of you in this room. The secret is not the size of the step you take. The secret is actually taking one step. So many of us, although totally unaware of it, live in a constant state of fear. Fear of failure, rejection, the unknown, being alone not being in control. Fear enables us to convince ourselves that the poor or failing qualities of our lives is caused by something or someone outside ourselves. When we master our fears, we become courageous and trusting. Because with courage and trust, no valley is too deep. No challenge too difficult to confront. Fellow Toastmasters and guests, it's my duty, my honor, I feel, as a fellow Toastmasters, to share this bad news with you. I pondered on my way here if there is something that I should keep a secret or should I reveal the upcoming scandal at the District 30 Spring Conference. The bad news that I regretfully have to share with you is Patricia Fripp will not be our keynote speaker this year. For some reason, unbeknownst to me, although I'm not sure if I can reveal the person's name, although I can say he is the head of Project 13, her passport didn't clear muster at the airport in Portugal. But one good bit of news that I might be able to share with you that I think I can, can safely say before I leave this room and safely make it home. Our keynote speaker will be Kerry Washington, AKA Olivia Pope. I know some of you regret the fact that Ms. Tripp won't be our keynote speaker this year. She has an illustrious career, not only nationally but globally, as one of the top notch, not only speaker, but teachers, teacher of professional speakers around, the, around this world. She alone has coached five or maybe six world champions of public speaking. I'm not sure if we'll have to send out people to meet with others who are taking this news very hard. I'm not sure if someone will shed a tear or go ballistic because a lot of people cherish Ms. Fripp. A lot of people look up to Ms. Fripp, Ms. Fripp and if they can afford it, they, look, they value the learning, the, the speaking skills that they learn from this young lady. Although I'm not sure if Ms. Pope is up to the task of serving as a replacement for Ms. Fripp, I think our spring conference would be one very interesting conference. No postmaster would want to miss. It takes a lot. There's a lot that goes into planning a spring conference. And the keynote speaker is pretty much the icing on the cake. But to lose someone of this woman's magnitude, this late in the game, with the conference only three days away. It's kind of disheartening, and I'm not sure if it will affect the, of the attendance at our conference this year. But hopefully, Miss Pope, or AKA Carrie Washington, is up to the task of filling the strip shoes. I myself was looking forward to meeting Miss Fripp because I met her. Their last conference I was able to learn quite a bit. And the, the value of meeting her at the postmaster event where she normally would charge $4,000 plus to train someone is an 
in the valuable experience. So I'm looking forward to getting a phone call from Mr. Project 13 to see if we receive any more news in regards to the unfortunate experience that Ms. Fripp encountered at the airport in Portugal. I'm quite sure there's more to the scandal that will be unraveled quite soon. Ms. Thompson.